The Honeywell Intevio is a highly integrated and multifunctional public address system. It provides a series of public audio solutions with device simplification, easy expansion, simple installation, and convenient operations. It is very easy to use and maintain and can be used for a variety of applications. In this video, we will introduce how to connect the system under a dual channel mode. Before starting your connections, make sure that you have Cat5 cable lines for communication and audio transmission, a twisted pair for connecting the amplifier, expander, and loudspeakers, and power lines for the power supply. Now we can start the connections to set up a dual channel system. First, select the dual channel mode by setting the dip switch to on at the rear panel of the MCU. The master control unit has a 500 watt built-in power amplifier and allows for an additional three external power amplifiers which can be connected to build a dual channel system equaling a 1000 watt system. The MCU's built-in amplifier can support up to eight internal zones. The default is set to support zone one through zone four. If there are more than four zones, it is required that you connect channel 1A to channel 1B in parallel to enable zones 5 through zone 8. For channel 2, if there are less than 5 zones, it is not required for you to connect channel 2A to channel 2B in parallel. Simply connect channel 2A to the external power amplifier. If there are more than 4 zones, then you will need to connect channel 2A to channel 2B first and then connect each of them to the external power amplifiers. The dual channel 8 zone expander, RK Zone 8, can accommodate an additional 8 loudspeaker lines. This system can expand to include 15 units to build a dual channel system with a maximum of 128 zones. Connect the RK MCU system extension port to the zone expander system extension in port with a CAT5 cable. Then connect the system extension out port to another zone expander's system extension in port. Up to 15 8 zone expanders can be connected to the MCU. Connect the zone expander's port PA interface channel 1 to the amplifier's port PA interface in. Then connect the amplifier's port PA interface out to the next amplifier's port PA interface in. Connect the amplifier's port output to the zone expander's port channel 1A through channel 1B with a twisted pair. Connect the zone expander's port PA interface channel 2 to the amplifier's port PA interface in. Then connect the amplifier's port PA interface out to the next amplifier's port PA interface in. Connect the amplifier's port output to the zone expander's port channel 2A through channel 2B with a twisted pair. Set the address and work mode for each zone expander. For the last zone expander in the system, the end of line resistor must be enabled on that unit. Connect the loudspeaker terminal to the port loudspeaker interface on the MCU and the zone expander. Connect third-party equipment to the MCU with a dry contact input and an output port. There are two auxiliary inputs and one mic line input on the MCU. Connect the audio sources to the corresponding audio input port. It is important to note that the 8-zone expander and the 24-zone expander cannot be used in the same system since they have different audio channels and speaker lines. A maximum of six remote call stations can be connected to the MCU. The distance between the MCU and the remote call station can be extended up to 600 meters or 1900 feet by using a twisted pair cable. There are two call station interfaces on the MCU and the call station can connect to either of them. Connect the MCU port call station to the call station's port uplink. Then connect the port downlink to the next call station. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, please refer to the user manual.